What's going on, everybody? That's not, I'm pretty sure that's not how I do it. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Basically, we're not really gonna be doing a mod per se. We're gonna be doing it on a piece of paper or a piece of papyrus or some shit. I think this is wood, actually. I'm just gonna assume that. There's a little note on the flip side of this. Really nothing crazy going on here, but this is a very unique piece. Sometimes, just sometimes, will I get a device that actually has some type of extra accessory in it, and that kind of, I guess in a way, excites me. This is no exception. I did get this little laser etched engraved thing, and uh, it looks like this was written, so let me just recite back to you what is written on this piece of wooden postcard. Hello, Jay. Hope you're well. Have been watching your reviews for one year. So impressed by your honest and unbiased opinions. I respect it. Hope I would meet you in person one day. Sincerely, Nicole. Oh, sure, friends. Very good. Very good. Uh, let me tell you something. Very rarely will I actually get excited about a device. Like when I get it, I'm like, eh, let me open it up, see what it is. Okay, that's cool. That's a fucking fruit roll up. You know, oh, I got a gusher. Like, okay, that's cool. Not a gusher, like a squirter. That's not what I'm talking about. Let's stay on track. I opened this box mod up, and as soon as I saw it, the first thing I said was, that's got to light up. It has to. The way that it's designed almost tells you that it's that way. Usually I'll give shit to companies that makes box mods that have LED bars all over it. I've seen it so much, there's nothing unique. It's not like there was just one company that did it, okay, that's super cool, let's let it go. It seems like there's a lot of companies that continue to release products that are doing the same exact shit. Some have LED bars, some have little pulse monitors. It, too far, man, like you're going, you're making it more difficult than what it needs to be, right? Like, you're not going to sell a lot if that is your main selling point. Like we got LEDs. So does every other fucking company in the world. But what makes this unique is it does have an LED, but you don't see the LED per se. The tube lights up, and that's what goes into the next thing. This is a tube-regulated, well, unregulated mod. Same style as a mech mod. The first time I've ever seen this done. Now, we've seen stuff like the UL Nunchucko, the Saber, the, the old school Ajoy Evic. The, we've seen all those. Perfaris. Perfaris. That's when you fart when you're vaping on a Perfari. This, though, is a mech mod, and it keeps flying out of the fucking package because the way that it's set up, that has a clear tube in the center, and it's unregulated. This is always the gray area because you have to say, all right, mech mod, no LEDs, no lights, just raw power, just connection. Unregulated is going to be something with a chip in it, basically, and it's a mech mod. You can't adjust it. Then you have regulated, which is like a DNA. This falls in the unregulated realm. I'm kind of impressed with this. I really, really am. I like the LEDs on this. I don't want to tell you too much about it. There's not a whole lot of features. It's very, very basic, but it's got some shit where you shake it, like where it's interactive. I don't, I don't know. It's not like the Lustro where you have to wave at it and flick it five times to wake it up and to make you eggs. It's not like that. This is more just shake it twice, turn the light, shake it once, it's all right. Shake it three times, use it as a flashlight. Uh-oh. And this is one of these companies that are absolutely nobody. I think they meant to spell Arkholm, but they spelled there's a Rome. So I, I'm not quite sure what they were going for, but if that is correct, that is the pronunciation. That's not, that's the spelling of the company that makes the mod. Again, it surprises me that we see this coming from a company that doesn't have the kind of backing that all these other companies do. However, there's one caveat or how bit, if you will. It's not super advanced, but it's definitely the first one that I've ever seen that's like this. I can't even think of an unregulated tube mod. Nah, I got nothing. 
Dude, I, I literally have nothing. Regulated, no problem. Mech, no problem. Unregulated? They're labeling this as a semi-mech mod, which kind of makes sense because it is in fact a hybrid, if you will. Not a hybrid mech mod, a hybrid mod. There's safety precautionary measures. You know, if you got a hard short, you don't have to worry about blowing out the battery or having any kind of thermal runaway. Again, I'm not sure of the chip that's inside of this. We're just gonna run with what we have. So without further ado. Let's flip it. I'm assuming they went to do Arc Ohm, but maybe it's not. It's Acker Ohm. Either way, right down the bottom, semi mech mod. On the top, it's got their logo. On the side, all the different little features. Super nice little touch here. A little hard to read. Interactive, colorful, vibrating, vibrating. No, this doesn't. That can't. Nope, that's not right. There, it doesn't vibrate. I think they mean like breathing. And then high level functionality, usage protection, powerful chip here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the powerful chip is really applicable in this because it doesn't have a boost or buck chip. It only has a chip inside that's gonna dictate the safeness of what you got going on, whether that's the temperature of the mod itself or in fact, if you're running a hard short. 18650 would have much rather seen it with a 2700, it would be that much larger. On the flip side of that, all their social media, on the back side, everything that's included. I guess maybe this is one of the reasons why I like this so much. Be different, be unique, be yourself. Hmm, preach it, brother. So on the bottom, we're gonna have a scratch and sniff. This is going to be Tokito Slurpee, flavor and scented. Lots of different things going on here. Cold and hot, sweet and savory, fat and skinny, chubby and bunny. I'm assuming that's what they were going for. Maybe not. Inside the box, open it up. Got your mech mod, we'll go over that shortly. There is a little card on the inside here. There we, there it is, okay. Warranty card, not really 100% sure as to what their warranty is just because, well, it's a brand new company. They may have a great warranty, but then again, it's very rare to find a Chinese company that actually validates their warranty and anything that goes wrong with it. Hopefully they do. And then on the bottom, you have QC Pass. They didn't even bother to put a little separate QC Pass in there. They just printed that on a warranty card. Guys, listen, over at ACR Ohm, you can't do that. If you're going to do QC Pass, at least put something in there that's signed and stamped. Do the right thing. Lead by example. Again, if your battery looks like any of these, rewrap it. Or if it doesn't look like any of these and it has nicks in the side, replace the wrap as well. So up here on the top, we have a working voltage. That means how much battery life is in the battery itself that you're using. Meaning if you were to put a 4.3 volt or 4.4 volt battery in here, it will not register as that. It may register as a 4.2 volt, but there's only like two 18650s that go to 4.3 volts, but nobody uses those to vape on. 40 amp mechanical, mm. I don't know about that. 0.07 to 2.5. Stainless steel and bulletproof PC or polycarbonate. They're saying that the glass or the plastic that is around this, I can shoot with a round and nothing will happen to it. Mm, I don't know about that, man. 96 efficiency, very good. This is an unregulated mech mod in the shape or fashion of a tube. So if you already like mech mods, you're probably gonna love this device. Before I go into showing you how this works, this is the material that they're saying is in fact bulletproof. I don't know why they're promoting that, and I'm not quite sure as to why someone's out there on the range shooting up their mod. On the top, it's not gonna be a direct connection just because it's running through a chip, which is, I guess, located in the top here. It looks like a 2700 will work, but it won't just because of how tight it is on the inside. You have ACR ohm there for what we could fit on the top. You will be able to fit a 25 millimeter. We'll go extremely flush. There you go. No overhang whatsoever. This is where the magic happens. Check this out. So you're gonna unthread this here. See the little contacts? That's telling the chip that there is a connection and that it's fully secured down. Down there, 18650, that is non-removable. So I'm assuming down here or inside of this section or this section is LEDs. We'll go over that shortly. But this is the contact itself. Now, normally, if it was a mech mod, I would rip this apart just because, well, it's a mech mod and the contact shouldn't look that shitty. However, it is kind of a regulated mod in a sense. So I'm not really gonna go too far in depth with that. However, when you do press this down, it is in fact magnetic. If you look where all these little cutouts are is for your battery venting. And then sure enough, on the bottom, more battery venting. Very, very nice touch. 18650, no movement whatsoever. Screw this down. Here we 
go. By default, it will be off, and if you want to turn it on, you're going to shake the mod twice. One, two, and there is the light. Now, if you want to change the color configuration that is inside here lighting up, you're going to shake this one time. Yeah, it's pretty badass. And then when you fire it, it will light up. Or you could do one, two, three. Almost sounds like it's still firing. Now that's on. One, two, three. And now the light is off. So you have three different settings. You have the setting where it is on when you press the fire button, the setting where it's always on, or the setting where it's off. So I guess it's depending on what you want to do. The only problem I have with this is really how much of a battery drain is that going to have, having an 18650 in there, utilizing whatever LED you do have in there. Maybe if you're out and about with your friends, you're just trying to hang out and show off and do little stunts and shit. You know, maybe if you get lost and you hang like those little snappable LEDs. They're not LEDs. The ones you break when you're in an accident. I can't remember what they're called. Really cool friggin' feature, man. You can't tell me, but that's not cool. So if you like to mods if you like the way that they feel the way that they function this is going to function just in the same and fire down just as low and the best part of it is you get safety measures which is something i always push on mech mods so without further ado so once again that is the fush or fush, unregulated tube mod let's bring it on the top back on the top with the mod that has no battery or battery cap in it i'm just keeping it real at this point there's no point just run with it it works you can see it is still white okay oh my god see this right here should be called the saber mod like this looks just like a lightsaber and clearly this is on the full mode so one two three it's off, we fire it, does not light up. However, let's turn it on, one, two, and then right now, it's on. And there we go. The Acrome Unregulated Cylindrical Tube Mod. Let me show you some vapor production. Too corny. The way that it is right now, where it's always on, is very, very annoying. However, you're out and about, you know, you can't find your keys. This is a perfect way to do it. This being an unregulated mech mod, I feel I'm getting a lot of a voltage drop. As cool as that is, I feel that they need to take this Ace chip, their first chip that they made, and their first mech mod, or unregulated, and kind of tweak it a little bit. I'm getting about three tenths of a voltage drop, which is quite large. I guess if you're not worried about that and you have a super low build, you're not really gonna notice it, but for me rocking a .18, which isn't really super high, I'm getting a lot of voltage drop. I think the biggest culprit with this whole unregulated mod is the fact that it is running through a chip and it has a lot of features and this is their first device. But I'm gonna tell you this, them making this device being that innovative. I get it, you could say that people have made tube mods, they've made unregulated, but I've never seen the two combine and then be able to light up like this does. I don't think it's really overkill because you can shut it down, you can change the colors. I mean, I'm not a fan of LEDs, I'm not, but I am a big, huge fan of innovation and cool shit. This falls in that category. They do in fact need to perfect this because where it's at, it's nowhere near perfected. I get it that they were trying to do something different with the bottom connection and just give it that hourglass shape, but why not just make it that big and fit a 21700 on the inside and make it a straight tube? Just makes more sense. And as you can see, everything I'm doing that it's turning on because the I guess it has a gyroscope, a kaleidoscope. Nope, that's the thing that sees diamonds. It's got something on the inside to recognize when you do shake it it changes colors i don't know how rigorously you have to shake it I, well yeah i guess if you just kind of flick it it changes as well i'm not quite understanding why they're pushing bulletproof what is going on in your life where you're worried about someone shooting up your mech mod like what <laughs> what do you do for a living are you in some kind of high security shit and your bulletproof vest is not that good, so you rely heavily on your mech mod to protect you? You guys remember them old cowboy movies where the guy would have a frying pan? <laughs> <laughs> I 
a badge, that's what I'm thinking of. They would have a badge and you would shoot and a badge would stop them from getting shot. Back then in the cowboy realm, I feel like frying pans weren't a thing. There might have been like iron skillets, but you can't get around with walking away with that on your body because how are you holding that on there? Is that duct tape? And was there even duct tape out when frying pans or iron skillets was around? Is duct tape a new thing? Was that invented in the 1900s? Because I'm feeling cowboy era is 1700s, 1800s. I don't think there was any cowboys in the 1900s, and I'm not referring to the people that are riding cow cows. <laughs> you know you are in no rush whatsoever is when you ride a cow to the location. How fast could a cow possibly run? Did you guys ever see that video where the guy's like on a farm in Netherlands? I swear to God this is a real thing. I'm not making this up. A guy's on a farm in like the Netherlands or Belgium or something and he releases his cows. They literally jump in the air. I have never seen a fucking cow jump. I'd be very interested to see someone put a saddle on a cow and ride it across country. It may take you about 14 fucking years and Forrest Gump may beat you, but at least you could say you rode a cow. And we're not talking about the bulls, you know, the bucking jammies. And they're not really running, they're just doing crazy shit. You could hop on my back, I'll do some stunts like that, and you could pay me extra money. I always thought that they had some kind of strap that ran around their testicles that had spikes in it. At least that's what my father always told me, asshole made me believe that shit till I was 34 years old. The idea is there, just the chip is not very well executed. They perfect that, they got something that is a win. I'd be willing to bet money that some companies are gonna look at this design and say, let us do it, but let us perfect it. All I'm gonna say to Acrom is just perfect this before it's too late and other companies copy you and do exactly the same thing that you try to do, just in a better fashion. There is a huge voltage drop that I cannot deal with in this mod. There's just absolutely no way. I feel like they would have tested that thoroughly before they released it with the amount of voltage drop that you're getting. I don't know if right where it's at, it's something that I would recommend to someone that does like massive amounts of clouds. If you just get by with what you have, if you were to drop your ohms down a little bit more, I wouldn't be too concerned with anything that's crazy. But at the same time, do I really trust this if I was to do a hard short to actually trigger and then give me an error. If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a five. I would love to go seven, 7.5, or maybe even eight. However, the chip is what's really hurting this, and that is everything with this mod. The factor, the coolness of it, is a straight up win. And that's really why I'm going up to five. Three tenths of a volt on a mechanical style mech mod, yeah, that's not gonna work. If anybody that vapes now off of mechs, you're gonna have to build that much lower to counteract the chip and the voltage drop that's already on there. All in all, it's not a bad device. It's super innovative and super cool. Just perfect that chip that much more. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check his out.